Any other questions? Does that have yes, a sir. comment and a question? Could you, uh, could you state your name for public record? Sure, Tom Junker. As a, as a John customer, and this is a personal opinion about the utilities and utility boards, I've never seen any evidence in the past and looking at some of the charts that, and I don't get the impression, nor do I, a lot of people that I heard talk about this, that either utility boards or the utilities really have any concern for, for us as customers and the financial position that we're in. I believe this is all about money. I believe it's all about investments. I believe it's all about uh, the people who, who invest and keeping them happy. And I think that the utility and the utilities board are going to take whatever you want and give it to you. And I've never seen any evidence that that's not been the case or going to be the case. And if you need us to suffer the expense of paying for something that happened during a very serious storm or two, and you want this huge increase, then put the increase into effect until it's paid for. That amount of money is paid for that you say you don't have. I don't know if you're going broke or where that your extra money is. That doesn't ever seem to be in printing anywhere. Where, where, where the money is, show me the money. Then after you paid for this, drop it back down again. If I fix something in my home, I pay for it once, and that's it. But you folks want us to pay 18% pay increase forever and then the next time something hits the fan, you're going to come back and ask for it again, and again, and again, and again. It never goes down. It continually goes up like everything else in this country. And it's really beyond ridiculous for you utilities to say, whoops, bad storm, cost us a ton of money. Now you folks got to pay for it. Even though you've been paying, you've got to pay for it. I was without power for six days. I didn't hear anybody coming to my aid any, any more quickly than they did. But I'm really disappointed in every time the utilities and businesses per se in this country have a problem, <coughs> where do they turn to? Do they have money in the bank to be able to pay for this? And oh, well, we'll keep it, invest it, hold it back. When that gentleman asked you about financials, you said you didn't come prepared. You don't know those things. I don't know why they would send you here without knowing it. It seems to me as if, if we have to pay for this thing, then explain completely where your money is, where it's going, who's making it, where the investments are, how much it is being made every year. Put that in, in, in printing, in the paper, or send it out in a newsletter. And then when this thing is paid for, drop this 18% back again. I'm really fed up with the fact that every time something hits a fan, you folks want to run to us for more money. Thank you, sir. Any response to that? Uh, I mean, I've spent an hour and a half going through, you know, what we're doing and why we're doing it. Um, Alliant, the way the utility industry is in Iowa, and it's been that way for over 100 years, is we can only collect on investments that we've made after the fact, after we've invested in them. And that's what we're doing now. We have, for five years, made investments into our system. And the process here is after we've spent the money, we go before the utility board and ask for recovery of that investment. Um, and that's, that's what we're doing. But you never reduce it back again after you paid for that. But the process of a rate case does look at all of those things and reconciles everything that's been depreciated out of that system plus everything that's been invested in it. And it, it typically, you know, the utility industry uh, by its nature is one of the highest capital intensive businesses in the country. It takes a huge amount of money to build power plants and put the plant and equipment in place to serve our customer base. So if you put in a, you know, we talked earlier, if you make an investment in a, this wind farm, for example, that's going to be there for 20 years going through a depreciation schedule. At the end of that 20 years, 
it is off the books and whatever replaced it is now in place and is earned a rate of return off of that investment. So it's a constant dynamic going through these rate cases as to what has been depreciated out of your rate base and what's going in and what has gone into it. So that's a constant reconciliation when we do this. But if this gentleman says, okay, with hundreds of millions of dollars <coughs> in excess, okay, I, I, I as an individual would in fact like to know, just as he said, and you people should put it in printing and make it very clear that we do have all this excess money and this is where we're going to put it. Rather than just saying, there's a lot of money out there, you know, we've got it, but we need you to pay 18% more so that we can do more. No, I want you to use that money first and then come to me for money. Only we can't do that on our own. We have to have that uh, blessed by the Iowa Utility Board. And this process that we're going through does that. They, everything is done in public. Uh, all of the documents that are there for the testimony that's given are all, that's all public information. And um, this whole process is, as I said earlier, and I'm not sure if you were here uh, for the beginning, but the Iowa Utility Board acts as the judge and the jury in this case. The utility acts as a petitioner, and the Office of Consumer Advocate and all the interveners act as, if you think of it in terms of a legal case, as the defendant. So we're looking at this thing from a litigation standpoint, and all these issues that you've raised will be litigated and looked at from all sides before a decision is made in what's appropriate and what isn't appropriate. I, I, I bet there's a, I bet there's an excellent chance that everything you've asked for is going to be given. I bet it, I bet it's there's a lot better chance you're going to get it than not going to get it. And I bet that, you know that going into that's it. yet to be seen. Okay.